Yeah, that's probably gonna have to be... Well, Vision moves over, it's gonna be more points, so I think it's probably best for middle. Hit Monkey has to go middle then. Um, so I'm gonna go Kitty Pride. I'm gonna have to go Kitty Pride here. Yeah. Okay. And Magneto. Okay, nice. Cool. GG. Yeah, yeah, monkey could get pretty big in this deck. Hey everyone, I'm back with another Marvel Snap video, and today I'm playing Bounce. With the new emerging meta being Hella, Cannonball, Prof X Dex, and Bounce, I decided to check out Bounce first out of the three. I got this list from KMBS, but this is more of the traditional list. I personally don't really like Werewolf by Night, so I decided to run this version. I've always liked the Bounce archetype, it has a totally unique playstyle compared to any other deck in the game. Also being able to drop down a 12 power hit monkey out of nowhere, it's pretty awesome to see. Now let me go through the card breakdown. Alright, so starting off we have Hood. Uh, yeah, Hood's usually here so that we can get Demon. Um, usually we can actually get um, Beast to bounce back the Hood. And then, yeah, at the end of the game we potentially could have actually two zero cost Demons. Um, and you could just place them anywhere that needs power. Which is pretty cool. Uh, next we have Bast. Bast is just another card that really benefits like buffing up this deck. Um, there are some good targets being like Kitty Pride. Um, uh, Angela is also a good target. Sage is good. Monsieur is actually pretty good. Um, especially how it looks kind of odd because Mysterio is like four power and it gives you some like clones. But the clones actually receive the three power buff. Um, yeah, and also Bishop's uh, pretty good with the buff as well. All right, next we have Kitty Pride. Uh, Kitty Pride's just in here um, just to like soak up some buff from Elsa. Um, she's also good to kind of bounce back as well for another card to use for Hit Monkey with Beast. Um, you can also buff her up and make sure she doesn't like get sniped off by Killmonger or anything, which is pretty nice. And then next, Nico. Uh, yeah, just the the toolkit card, as I imagine, like in this deck, um, you could do a lot of stuff with her, um, especially when you need it. Like if you need to change location, um, you could change it. Uh, if you could use her multiple times to buff up, you know, different cards, it's great. Um, so yeah, just a lot, lot of utility. Next, we have Angela. Um, yeah, she's just here so that we could just buff her up with all these like small cards. A lot of replayability with Kitty Pride um, in her lane as well. Uh, Beast, yeah, core card of this deck. Um, usually play him on five, uh, and you're looking to like bounce back the one energy card so they become zero on turn six. Um, and then this way you could just play out so many cards to buff up a Hit Monkey. All right, next US Agent. Uh, I don't think this is like required or anything. Um, I think this just takes people by surprise, especially how, you know, who expects US Agent to come down, right? I mean, uh, traditionally, most people run uh, Iron Man in this slot. And yeah, US Agent is just a surprise factor. And it, it's pretty nice in this deck because as you can see, US Agent hits nothing else. So yeah, it's great. Um, yeah, Mysterio, yeah, it's just the same uh, idea. And yeah, Mysterio is usually like a turn six play. Uh, you want to play Mysterio and then uh, hit Monkey because you get uh, free three cards. Uh, next is Sage. Uh, she could act more like a backup to like hit Monkey. Um, usually you could use her on like turn five, like in conjunction with Beast. Um, just she's a very flexible card. Next we have Bishop, uh, yeah, just Bishop's great in any type of bounce deck because you're going to be playing so many cards on turn six. So you could go up to like really high, like I, I think I've seen like 
12 or 13 power before. Uh, yeah, hit monkey, just, you know, core card this deck. Uh, this is your win condition. And yeah, people don't expect like 12 power from one card um, if they're not familiar with this deck. Um, yeah, and then Elsa, Elsa just like glues the whole deck together. She gives also more power, um, like hidden power as well. Okay, if you made it this far, I would appreciate if you would consider subbing and liking this video. This would also really help motivate me to continue making videos. Thank you so much for being a part of Edge Gaming. Without further ado, let's get into the games. All right, this is pretty good uh, bass. Danger Room's not great though. Um, it's not exactly a great location. Ooh, Kamar Tosh is good for Hit Monkey and Sage. All right, we could skip here. Okay, Kamar Taj is pretty good. We could still win Kamar Taj. I guess it just comes up to the what the right oh pet mansion. Okay. All right, maybe. Uh, we do need a beast though. We're looking for beast. We're also looking for U.S. agent. Okay, Bishop. All right, still looking for beast. All right, Jubilee and Red Hulk, probably, let's see here, Vision, Jeff, oh, Electro Duck, maybe? Okay, so we don't actually get Beast. That's, I guess that's okay. Uh, so yeah, last turn, Mysterio, yeah. So we just have to Sage then. Okay. Doom. Ooh. It's gonna be kind of hard to beat. Okay. Could U.S. Agent. Pride U.S. Agent Hit Monkey. Just need nine. Okay. Ooh, okay. 23, okay. US agents probably gonna be key here. Alright, okay, nice. Cool. Nice. Victory. Ooh, borrow no name, we could oh okay, we do have HUD. Do I want to play Hood now? I think I do actually, because I have Beast. Um, what am I playing next turn? I don't want to play U.S. Agent. Okay, we can skip. There's no good uh, two drop here. Ah, huh, okay. So they probably have some way of changing um, that location then, right? Um, I don't have a three play, so I could probably just skip again actually. Oh, okay. It's probably going to be Stormed. Uh, that's the case. I guess I'll change this location. Well. If it's not changed, then... Just let, I'm, I'm just going to let me win, right? But... Yeah, play Nico here. Okay, Demon. I could almost just play Elsa here. Okay, I'm just gonna play Elsa there. I'll still be at zero, and they're still at six. Ooh, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I don't really know what their plan is to win. Unless they change something. They can't Legion, right? I mean, Legion doesn't do anything. Oh, snap. Okay, I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to get back the ones here. Ha. 
Oh, okay. So they wanted to blink. Okay. Behold my mighty hand. Ah, oh, weird. Okay. Yeah, okay. GG. Victory. Alright, White Hot Room is pretty good. Uh, we have decent bass targets, so I'm gonna go ahead and bass. Human Torch tells me maybe it's um, uh, Phoenix Force. Oh, Murder World. Interesting. Okay, I don't want to play Nico now, so it's probably gonna be just Kitty Pride. Multiple Man. Okay, I'm still not sure which which version this is. Ooh, okay. Uh, I don't have enough to like actually fill up yet, so it's probably just gonna have to be like this. Okay, I have to play Angelo. Yeah, unfortunately I can't get Elsa down this turn. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna Kitty Pride. Okay. Okay, at least we get the plus three ma uh, max energy. Oh, okay. Venom all three? Maybe just gambling to see which it is, which um, Phoenix Force it is. Nico, okay. All right, so I definitely need to get Elsa down. Ooh, and Beast. Okay. So we could do some interesting things here. Okay, so we're definitely doing Elsa. We're definitely doing Beast. Uh, we probably just want Bishop down then. Okay, let's go Bishop, Elsa. It might be Arnhem. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to do this. And then Beast. Okay. All right. Doctor Stranging over the left. Okay. Interesting. All right, we need like Hit Monkey or maybe US Agent. Need a little bit more firepower. All right, the hood, maybe not good enough. I don't think so. Uh, Phoenix Force could be anything out of these four. Could be Human Torch, Iron Fist, Forge, or Multiple Man. Um, maybe like Ghost Spider. I guess if it's Arnhem, we just need to beat 12 on both sides, right? So I guess it's just gonna have to be Sage here. And then fast Nico. All right, Phoenix Force. It's a forge. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder if I wonder if it's enough. Taskmaster. Okay. All right. Cool. We're good. Shadowland. We could bast a hood here. Bishop's not like pretty good target. All right, let's just do bast. Uh, next turn, we're probably just gonna hood, uh, but depending on what the Nico spell is. Oh, Warrior Falls. Ooh, it's pretty bad. Yeah, we might need to change location. Yeah, let's do that. Let's change the location.
Oh, that is not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. Yeah, we're gonna have to bishop here. Yeah, that is that's not good. Okay, we're we're gonna leave. We'll play both here. Oh, Venom? The Electro. Oh. Interesting. I wonder... I wonder what deck this is. Okay, we can Elsa. Alright, this is gonna be pretty hard to win here. Um, Venom Electro, what could that be? Oh, huh. it's kinda weird. We do have kill. Uh, we do have hit monkey. Gets interesting now. Uh, where do we try to win? I guess left and right then, right? That's. Uh, we do want Mysterio probably here, and I'm gonna go with Kitty Pride here, and then hit monkey left. Actually, I want the power on. I want the four over here. So be this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do Demon, Kitty Pride, Hit Monkey. Death wave. Okay. Okay. Wow. Cool. Was a hit monkey. Victory. All right. We can bass. Uh, Westfield turns in you for. Yeah, that's okay. We'll just play blast, uh, bass now. Okay. Uh, most likely gonna be Kitty Pride. Oh, Central Park kind of messes things up a little bit. Okay, we do have Beast. Not bad. Uh, we're probably gonna play Bishop next turn here. Uh, it's gonna either gonna be like middle or right, depending on what the location is. Okay, so it's Craven. Maybe some type of move deck or something. Um, Oh, Xandar's good for us. Alright, I'm gonna play Bishop on right here. Oh, Nocturne, okay. Could potentially mess things up, but... Oh. It's kinda bad. Okay. Hmm. We could do like Nico and then Sage. It's not bad. Snapped. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do Nico Sage. gives us a six drop oh and I just play kitty here to stop the nebula it's not bad
Koa. Wow. Okay. Vision. All right. Yeah, it's probably gonna have to be. Well, Vision moves over. It's gonna be more points. So I think it's probably best for middle. Hit Monkey has to go middle then. Um, so I'm gonna go Kitty Pride. I'm gonna have to go Kitty Pride here. Okay, let's do Squirrel Girl. Nico. Hood. Demon hit monkey. Yeah. Okay. And Magneto. Okay, nice. Cool. GG. Yeah, yeah, monkey could get pretty big in this deck. Yeah, thanks for making it to the end of the video. Overall, if you love combo decks or bounce in general, give this deck a try. Before I sign off, it is once again that special time in the video where we get our dopamine fix and open some reserves. All right, so today, uh, yeah, actually finally have enough boosters for Hawkeye and uh, he's not gonna stay uh, purple anymore. So gonna be upgrading as much as possible. All right, so just legendary today then. All right, and just one reserve today. So let's just get right into it. All right, 200 credits. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, if you like this content, please consider subscribing and liking the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.